Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Jared Beckwith and in this video I wanted to talk about a seizure that I was able to capture on the EEG. In my past video a couple weeks ago, I recorded a seizure where I only had some of the wires on but I turned on the EEG machine to capture the seizure on camera and that patient was actually having epileptic seizures and it's very rare to capture a seizure on EEG and I was able to capture one today and I wanted to talk about it because I'm excited. I just got home. Like I literally captured the seizure probably like 30 minutes to an hour ago. So now that it's fresh on my mind, I wanted to talk to you guys about it and my experience. So this time, rather than an epileptic seizure, this was what is called a pseudo seizure or another name for it is psychogenic non-epileptic seizure. So this seizure differs from an epileptic seizure as in the fact that there's no epileptic discharges on the EEG. You're not going to see any spike and wave discharges on the EEG or rhythmic buildup of a seizure or any of that. It's just going to be, you're just going to see a regular EEG and then once the patient starts their event, you're going to see artifact from head shaking or moving or whatever happens during their psychogenic event. And then it's going to immediately return back to normal with no slowing on the EEG after the event. So that's exactly what happened today. Uh, on this specific one, um, it was induced by the photic light stimulator. So once I turn on the photic light, the patient started having their their event, their psychogenic non-epileptic seizure. Now I was able to look at the EEG. I, um, I changed the sensitivity, so I lowered the amplitude of the waves and I could see that it was just head shaking artifact. You know, O1 and O2, I could tell were just popping artifact and there was no epileptic discharges associated with the patient's outward shaking and tremors. The patient was full body shaking and it only lasted a couple um couple seconds honest honestly probably like 10 seconds because i immediately shut off the photo light i had what i needed i told the patient to rem remember a code word i told him blue dog remember that and i also immediately started asking the patient um if they're okay and then they're able to respond to me yes during the um seizure event or at least like literally seconds after the seizure event, once they started calming down, they were able to nod their head, yes, I'm okay. Okay, I made sure the patient's okay. Then I started asking them their name, they were able to answer their name, they were able to answer what year it was. Um, so they, they were oriented pretty much immediately. Um, one thing was, uh, I asked them about the event that they had 10 minutes later and they're like, I, I had, I had an event or what What happened? So they didn't even remember that, which I thought was interesting. Very interesting. Psychogenic non-epileptic seizures are a very interesting thing. They usually happen in people who have some type of underlying psychiatric uh, mental illness or they've been through some traumatic experiences in their life. Like the world is a crazy place, guys. Some people have gone through some stuff where you wouldn't believe what they've gone through. So... If you're going through some stuff, I mean, talk to a therapist, that can maybe help. Yeah, the thing with this, with these um, types of seizures is that you can't give them anti-epileptic drugs because since there's no epileptic activity on the EEG, although there is, you know, the outward uh, manifestation of the patient shaking and having all these tremors during their uh, pseudo-seizure, um, giving them anti-epileptic drugs isn't going to fix it because there's no epileptic discharges. So how do you fix these pseudo seizures or psychogenic non-epileptic seizures? Well, that's a very hard thing. Um, you have to send them to a psychiatrist, therapy, counseling. Um, there's no magic bullet, really. It's a really hard uh, disorder to treat, I would say. But the, the most difficult thing is patients who have not only epileptic seizures, but these non-epileptic psychogenic seizures as well. If you have a patient who has both of them at the same time, oh man, you're, you're gonna need a good epileptologist and a psychiatrist working together to, to help fix that. That is, cause, because I have seen that in the epilepsy monitoring unit where we work at, and I'm like, wow, that is a very complicated problem for our doctors to 
have to deal with. And, you know, I admire our physicians who try their best to help help cure these patients because that is a very, very tough circumstance for a physician to be in. You know, you got these psychogenic events and you have these epileptic uh, seizures as well in some patients. So, yeah, that's probably the hardest type of patient to treat, at least in this field of EEG. Yeah, but other than that, yeah, I'm pretty happy that I was able to capture the psychogenic non-epileptic seizure on the EEG. Um, when I went back and looked at it, I, when you have an event, you want to mark, in the beginning of the event, you want to mark a clinical start, clinical end, and that just means when does the patient start their outward movements of shaking, arm shaking, whatever it happens to be, whether it's left arm shaking, full body shaking, whatever they are doing on the outside, you name that clinical start and then clinical end when they're done with that. And once, and if you, it's an epileptic seizure, you're gonna say EEG start and EEG end or ictal start and ictal end for, the, for when the epileptic discharges start and end. That's how I label my seizures um, on the EEG for the doctor. So it's very clean. The doctor can see when it starts, when it ends. Um, one thing I was thinking of um, when you have buildup in a seizure and in a real epileptic seizure, uh, sometimes muscle artifact can obscure the buildup of epileptic seizures. So having looking back at these seizures with a muscle artifact reduction tool would help you better mark the EEG start or the ictal start of the seizure. So that's why my muscle artifact reduction tool is going to be very helpful for that in the future. Um, if you want a free sample, just hit me up in the comments or DM me. I'll give you a free sample. Just send me a seizure and I will send you back without muscle artifacts. So it'll be nice and clear for the doctor and you can see exactly when it starts and exactly where it ends. And yeah, uh, I just went on a little tangent there, guys, but thanks for listening to me. I appreciate all you guys' support. Um, reach out in the comments. What do you guys want to see next? I'm just here hanging out with my cat, Mr. Casper, and also Pumpkin is taking a nap. He's the orange one. He's cute. But yeah, hit the like button, guys. Leave a comment down below. Um, I will see you all on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.